watch out. That gang's around here. Yeah, and with what we've got in the car, $200,000, then we'd better keep our eyes open. Here, this will warm you up. <laughs> Great. We can use it. I'm going back now. You stay on guard here. Don't worry. He goes to his nice warm house while we sit out Shut here. Shut up. I wish it was tomorrow already. Ah, uh, let's have a drink. Did you hear anything? Yeah, I heard you gurgling down that bottle. I heard it. Let's go take a look.
That's all. Let's go. Ain't nobody see you laugh. As for me, I understand you. Ain't no laughing matter to be in jail. But you can laugh today because today's different. I'm telling you, today's a big day for you. But you know something? You go out of here with that face, the first thing you know, you're gonna be right back again.
Come in, Ryan. When I look at you, it doesn't seem so many years have gone by. At least, not for you. It seems it was only yesterday that we met for the first time. Here's the $83 you had in your pocket 15 years ago. Yeah, I hope it helps you get started again. My gun. Thank you. Now the bullets. The bullets? Twenty seven. Fifteen years ago, you put them in one of those bottom drawers there. Twenty-seven. You have a good memory. Well, sometimes it's not difficult. I still had six in my gun and 21 in my belt. If they hadn't double-crossed me, the count had been a little bit different.
What can it do for you? I haven't been around here in quite a while. Everything's changed. Your parents? That was my entire family. I'm sorry. I heard about it some time ago. I'm glad you're in town. I wanted to speak with you. I've just been talking to the judge, and he goes along with me. Now, how would you like to be deputy sheriff? I know that the job doesn't pay much, but I'm going to retire before long, and then you'll move up a step. What do you say, Bill? It's time you settle down. I've noticed there's something between you and Betsy. I've got other things on my mind, Sheriff, for the time being. Bill. No one knows you better than me. I was a good friend of your mother and father. I know what's on your mind, Bill. But don't you think it's about time to forget it? Thanks anyway, Sheriff.
Come on in. What's going on here? Night target practice? <gasps> Somebody tries to shoot me in the back, I defend myself. You defend yourself almost too well, mister. They're both dead as doornails. They came in the window. It wasn't to wish me pleasant dreams. Okay, okay, self-defense, I guess. But in this town, we don't like violence. I'm asking you to get out of town as quickly as possible. Good morning, Bill. How many glasses have you got in the house? A couple. Can we dirty them? I want to have a little talk with you. you all the way out here. What's on your mind? This. What's that supposed to mean? That my memory is still pretty good. I thought about this all night whether what I'm about to do is the right thing or not. But I've known you for too many years to keep quiet. Where'd you find him? On a dead man's feet. Last night, two men were killed. Those were on one of them. Who killed them? A stranger. A certain Ryan. He went west. Turn around. Keep your hand away from your gun. You're going to follow somebody, youngster, do a better job of it. This world is full of nervous characters. They shoot you in the back first and then introduce themselves. Tell me what you're after. Fifteen years, there's been no new track. Only a spur. Then you come along and there's three spurs. If you know the story, then you can figure out what I'm looking for. 
We both got an old account settled with the same people. Only I'm going to take first crack at them. We can go on together. No, son, you got too much hate in you. Sooner or later, that's going to get you in trouble. Hate's hate. There's no two ways. Somebody once wrote that revenge is a dish that has to be eaten cold. How does you are? You're liable to end up with indigestion. No, I'm going on alone. You better shoot me. Do I have to? If you don't, I'm going to end up on your heels again. Yeah, I suppose so. The important thing is to get there first. That's why I'm going to leave your horse at Red Rock. That's 10 miles from here. An advantage you're going to have to give me. Good luck, son. You might need that. Skin water. Where do I find Kavanaugh? Another drink. I'm looking for Bert Kavanaugh. Look, friend, I'm selling whiskey. Thanks for the information. Alden, what do you want up here? Certainly is a surprise. Was it a good surprise or a bad surprise? Why, did you think I wasn't happy to see you? How much you give those two to get rid of me? I... I don't think I understand what you mean. Well, it really doesn't make much difference. Whatever you paid them was a bad investment. <laughs> Maybe I have learned something after all these years. As an example, even a rat like you can be worth more alive than dead. Look, Ryan, I know it's not a nice trick walking out on you at the trial, but uh, 
No, no, no. You didn't walk out on me, you sold me. You turned me in, there's a big difference. Look, it was all a long time ago. Why don't we drop it? Here. Here's a hundred dollars. I know it's not much, but business hasn't been good lately. A hundred dollars? Yes. A hundred dollars for 15 years in jail? <laughs> Maybe I was right in the beginning. Maybe a rat like you is better dead. All right, don't get excited, Brian. What do you want? 15,000. What? 15,000, 1,000 for every year in jail cash. And where am I going to get my hands on that kind of money? Oh, you'll find it. I'm sure you'll find it. And I'm not in a hurry. Tomorrow morning will be all right. It warms my heart to see all my old friends doing so well. You're all pretty well established, aren't you? Well, I'm just going to visit our friend in Linden City, see what the first citizen has to say for himself. Till tomorrow. Oh, um, watch out for these things. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. Not yet. Bad luck at the table, friend? Not bad luck, mister. It was robbery. They took everything I had. You look like you need a drink. But you don't understand. That was just a warning. They got all my money, but I want to keep my skin. Sure you do. Who says anything different? Go hey, on. wait, hey. I can't go back in there. Don't you? Hey. No, I don't want to. No, no, no. I don't want to get killed. Two whiskeys. How much did you lose? Thirty dollars. What are you doing? Are you choking? without finishing my drink. Attempted homicide means you can be put in prison for 10 years. When can we try this man, Judge? Tomorrow. Take him to jail. Sorry it turned out this way. Hold it! If I'm worth anything as a witness, I'd say this is a case of self-defense.
More than anything I've seen in my life. Based on the personality of the witness, the charge is hereby withdrawn. The prisoner may go. Cards. You were lucky. Get out of here now. I want to talk with our friend here. Well, young man, you're a faster draw than all those stupid idiots. If you're looking for a job, I may be able to help you. Come up to my office. Behind your head, son. Now let that hammer down, slow. That is. Still got a lot to learn, son. <laughs> this time you got something to learn, too. Oh. What? Kavanaugh's paying me $500 to kill you. Another bad investment. You think so? Then maybe I didn't take him seriously. Well, if you didn't, you'd have been right. But tell me something. Why does he want you killed? And who is Kavanaugh? You ask too many questions. I can pay for the information with his 500. He's worth more than that to me. 15,000. So I suggest you keep your distance. Because if you don't, I might get mad. That's a warning. I'll find out who he is. And if he's who I think he is, get ready to get mad. Hey! Hey, wait a second! Wait! I want to thank you, yes, sir. I, uh, I ain't worth much. And it's been a real spell since anybody's done anything for me. But if you ask me to walk on fire, mister, I just started walking. I might ask you a lot less. Like what you know about Bert Kavanaugh. How long has he lived here in Holly Springs? When I got here, mister, he was already boss of the place. But if you want to know more about him, well, I just know the right man. Get yourself a good, strong bottle of rum. Because the more this man drinks, the more he talks. All the little sheep are gone, and the pasture lies sleeping alone. Laval, huh? Laval! The drunk and dead, I always say. Well, here's to you. Bottoms up. Now tell me what you know about Bert Kavanaugh. <laughs> My drunken wife. If there's any alcohol a mile away, she smells it. The bottle. 
Where's the bottle? There isn't any bottle. Where I is the bottle, Goblin? There is no... I know you've got some. Yeah, but no, no. Ah, uh, there it is, Doc. But it isn't ours, see, it's his. My good man, forgive the impression you're getting of us. It's just that she's my wife, you see. Well, she's a bit... Uh, well, the poor woman's drunk. Huh? Before you finish that off, tell me about Kavanaugh. <laughs> Kavanaugh? I'll tell you, he's a scorpion. He's a snake, a beast. Mm. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell it. When I first arrived here, the church was in good order. I was an upright preacher then, too. But what about him? What about who? Kavanaugh. Oh, Kavanaugh. All he had was a pistol and a pack of cards. And you know, now he's called Four Aces. <laughs> Full House, Queen. Not enough. Full House, Aces. Poor man. The ladies love you, but not Lady Luck. Give me another chance, Captain R. What security have you got? You know I've lost it all. Taken everything I had. My farm, my cattle, everything. You know that. Then get out of here. You're using space. Only $500. Just give me a chance. That's all I ask. Just $500. <laughs> Who wants to come in the game? I do. My employees don't play. Deal the card. I stand. I'm happy to take your 500. Four aces. Me too. Four aces. Look, young man, I'm afraid I don't feel like joking. Neither do I. Kavanaugh, 15 years ago at the Mesita Ranch. You and your friends killed everybody. But you forgot one thing. To kill me. Give him a gun. Get up. Hit three notes.
Lessons, my son. First, watch behind you. Second, count your shots. Four bullets for one man. That's a waste. charge of this here place? Yes, sir. What is it? What time's the train leave for Linden City? It left just 15 minutes ago. Well, what time's the next one leave? Day after tomorrow. Ah, uh -huh. come on. Keep calm, my boy. Your pal left your horse here with me. He took the train, huh? Sure. Oh, but that's not all. This guy told me a pal of his would be coming along. He said I should give you the horse and the kiss. And the horse is there waiting for you. And now, now where do you want that kiss? No thanks, I'll settle for the horse. You would indeed to be here today, and I consider it a great honor to introduce to you our leading banker, Mr. Walcott. agreed to have the Atchison Santa Fe line pass through our enterprising growing little town. Which offers a fine, prosperous, up and coming future. Citizens, while I'd be delighted to continue to address you, I must go because Judy calls me. Hooray for Senator Carlisle! Hooray for Linden City! One is here and the other will be here very soon. That's the one who killed Kavanaugh. Well, go on and get Pedro, Paco, and the others. Just say that I decided the party is for now. Hello. Nothing else. The boys will get it. Walcott, a stranger's asking for you. Show him in, then. Easy, friend. You're all alike. Years go by and you all do the same things. Gun in that drawer, knife in that back, lies. 
You were afraid that I wouldn't receive you? Quite the contrary. I expected you'd receive me too well. So I figured it's safer to come in from behind. Walcott, that stranger's gone. I'm already here, friend. So you can go on out. And close the door behind you. This is a private talk. The door! <laughs> well, looks like we've become important. Penridge, you've changed your old clothes, haven't you, Guy Pat? But you still haven't been able to change your face, have you? You still got the meanest looking face I ever did see. Now listen, Ryan. Now shut up. And I can tell you where I've been all these years because of you. I've seen some mean faces. Plenty of them. Things aren't the same as they used to be, Ryan. Because I can pay now. Just sit down. We'll talk about it. There isn't that much talking to do. Just five words. 15,000 plus 15,000. 15,000 bucks doubled. A lot of money, Ryan. It's a pretty high figure. But not for 15 years in jail. And you'll have to pay Kavanaugh's share. He was killed right under my nose and I didn't get a chance to collect the money. I'll give you an advance now. How about 10,000 bucks? All right. The rest tomorrow. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> time being. We could finish you off now, but that would be too simple. Let me tell you this, boys. Ryan was sent to us by heaven. <laughs> yes, good old Ryan is going to be helpful to us like in the good old days. <laughs> Wait. 
I've been working at this for years. Building their confidence in me, the citizens as well as the governor of this state. But the most important thing is that, finally, believe it or not, I have in my bank more than a million dollars now. <laughs> the funds the state deposited with me in view of our future public works. What do you think, Ryan? Should I build their stupid old public works with this mountain of dollars? <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't think I should. I guess I'll have to go along with their idea. Don't lose him. Oh, Mr. Walcott. Yes. Good evening, Frank. Extra work, Mr. Walker? Frank, go and open the door back there while I close this one. He was with me for 10 years. 
a loyal man, a good worker. And a friend. Hey, boss, they killed the other guard and blew up the safe. They didn't leave a single penny. They caught one of the bank robbers. Hey, they caught one of them. this one. Yesterday he was in my office. I'm sure that he robbed the bank, he and his men. What are we hey, doing? Oh, oh, take it easy. Let's bring that cow down. Now this man has the right to have a regular trial. Killers and thieves don't have any right. Yeah, hang on, I say. Calm down. Now don't you worry. He'll be hanged as a promise. But first he's going to tell us who his accomplices were. Well, Walcott, don't you want to get back what they stole? Now listen to me. All right, give me some time, then tomorrow you'll see. I think that the sheriff's idea is good. I lost my temper for a moment, but now I see he's right. Don't worry, this man's going to be hanged. Put him in the jail. There's something funny going on. There's a rotten smell around here. On your horses, let's go. Sheriff. I'll go with you. Escaped. He must have had some help. This is your fault, Sheriff. You were against us. Dead men don't escape from jail. Now this man has become a danger for us all. You catch him, do you hear? I'm going to make you pay if you fail. All right, let's go, man. I think I'll go back to Linden City. I'm anxious to meet Walcott face to face. What you say, Grandpa? I'd say you'd be making a mistake as usual. Why? Well, in the first place, Linden City's all excited right now. They're mad at strangers. You get recognized, you're going to get a rope around your neck. In second place, Walcott isn't there anymore. What makes you think so? <laughs> I'm in the habit of using my head. You ought to try it sometime. You know, Walcott had a pretty good plan. Thanks to you, it failed. Now, with me free, he's had to go and give up playing that honorable citizen role. Which way you think he's headed? Same way as the gang and the loot. 
Which is? Well, it's a crisscrossing their tracks. They had a little confusion and gained a little time, they went to El Viendo. That's a village of Mexican territory. Bocot's favorite hangout. <laughs> now, boy, you really know everything, don't you, Grandpa? Except that now you'll stay here quietly. You can go ahead and finish your shave. This time I get there before you do. Of course, I'll leave you on foot, just like you taught me. Except I won't leave your horse 10 miles from here, so I suggest you look for another one. Don't you want to try some of this meat before you go? It's just about ready. I'll see you around, Grandpa. had a son like you. Because someday I'm going to wind up with a bullet in the back. I ah, forget it. Get out of here. Might need that. Senorita, por favor, Tango said. I'm thirsty.
Why'd they run away when they saw me? <laughs> what are you afraid of? You... You aren't with the others. I'm on your side. Run away, please. Why? Or they'll kill you. Before anybody kills me, they got to get my okay. And I don't think I'll give it to him. Because you were worried about me, huh? <laughs> Kiss me, little one. The whole time I kept thinking about you. Marty, you grown up. She's a woman now. Is that right? You're a woman now. You dirty little. Someone who takes his anger out on men. What are you trying to say? That I'm afraid? You've got a stupid face, but you get it. You and me see which of us he's afraid. Something the matter? Did you change your mind, hero? Yeah. I've decided to kill you. your pistol. The other hand. Remember 15 years ago at the Mesita Ranch? Another time when you took it out on a woman? Unfortunately for you, that woman happened to be my mother. <laughs>
thought so. You stay here. And whatever happens, wait till you get relief. Right. him, Pedro. Alive. out who he is. He's the one who shot Kavanaugh. Then you're tied up with Raya. As his pal, you must know where he happens to be now. Men, prepare a deep hole outside. I'll make you talk, boy. Be sure of it. Because we happen to be very interested in where your pal is at present. And my men want to surprise Ryan. Talk. Do you want to finish your life by dying of thirst? Or chewed up by ants? Oh, you've got a handsome face. It would be a shame for it to end like those mummies outside. If I talk, who'll stand good for my life? You tell me where we can put our hands on Mr. Ryan. You won't die by either of these methods. Pedro will kill you in a regular duel. Do you agree? All right, then. Ryan sent me here thinking you wouldn't be back so soon. He headed for Redstone Pass. He's meeting some friends who'll help him get rid of the lot of you. And when is he supposed to meet these men? 
today. Redstone Pass is 20 miles from here. Better be on our way. For your sake, I hope you told us the truth. Bring him outside. <laughs> I see you're a man of your word. We should be back in ten hours. But you'll probably think it's longer out here in the sun. The honor of serving the soul is yours. Shoot, I'll aim it at your head.
Stop joking around, will you, Grandpa? Don't give him too much. Or too fast. by God to help us and to protect us against the evil ones. Well, actually, I don't think I'm really in that close a relationship with our good Lord. And I don't recall receiving any messages from him. But I am here for personal reasons. And it may just be those reasons coincide with yours. Huh? invented some tall tale that sent Walcott and the rest of his men on a wild goose chase, huh? Yeah. How soon do you think they ought to get back? Eight or nine hours. That gives us time to prepare a nice, warm welcome. All you men, listen to me. You must dig a ditch. From there to there. I want it this wide and this deep. Then fill it with dry branches and anything that'll burn. And then stand by with your barrels of oil. All must be done within a few hours. Now go. safe place around here for the women folk and youngins? Yes, there is. Outside the village at the old mission. Take them there. Come. reception for us by now. How do we fight you? Well, I'm taking four men and I'm attacking the rear. 
You take the others through the front. Ah. Here they come. They'll leave us alone. The night is going to be long for them, I think. A little music might soothe them. custom. They play your funeral march to wreck your nerves. But don't listen to it. Go to sleep, son. You gotta be well rested tomorrow.
That's good. We'd better get to them now, before the wind comes up and hits us. We've no time to lose, men. Ah, good morning. I hope. There were five of us that night. I came in late. If it means anything to you, when I saw what was happening, I was too late to stop it. All I could do was save a child, and now that child is going to kill me. All right. I've been waiting for that. But let me do something first. Let me help you now. There's too many of them out there for just you alone. It's over. I won't run away.
many bullets you got? Three. This time I'm out. I can see that. You don't even have your razor. Ryan. Defend yourself. Thanks for leaving me my horse. 